Los police arresting a former Goose Creek High School employee for driving a school bus drunk. 15 students and three parents were on board that bus at the time. News News Libba Holland combed through the video and Libba joins us in the studio with a closer look at what happened that night. Good evening, Libba. Carolyn Brendan, last month when we learned about this arrest, we knew that Brent Carter had a 0.18 blood alcohol level after he was arrested. That's more than twice the legal limit. But the dash cam video shows why troopers question Carter's condition. It takes about a half hour to go from this to this. When the highway patrol first pulls over the bus, troopers ask Carter to get out of the bus. The trooper explains why he stopped the bus. He says the taillights weren't on and the bus almost hit the highway patrol closer. Troopers ask Carter if he's been drinking. Carter says no. The authorities then try to conduct a sobriety test. Carter claims his balance is off. It's just a simple walking test, okay? You think you can do that? I hope so, but I, I mean, I really, my balance is, is bad. Okay, well, let, me, let me keep talking. I can't, I can't do it. Highway patrol officers then conduct other tests. Yeah. Okay, you start with letter E and then with letter R. Troopers eventually call EMS to take Carter's blood pressure. I mean, this is my concern. If you can't walk, to me, how are you going to drive a bus all the way to Goose Creek? See what I'm saying? Then he's arrested. Mr. Carter, turn around for me. One trooper interviews one of the parents on the bus about what happened earlier in the night. Uh, Mr. Carter kept hitting, like, the rumble strips and, uh, one of the other chaperones noticed, looking at his face in the rearview mirror, that his eyelids kept drooping down and he looked really, really tired. Later that night, another Goose Creek High employee drove the bus with the 15 kids and the adults back to Goose Creek that night. Carter is also charged with child endangerment. In the studio, Libba Holland, News 2.